Hello and welcome to another video by Huggy Bunnies. I hope you enjoy. Hello everybody and welcome. Today I'm going to make a Sum Sum Macaroon and I'm going to make Minnie Mouse today. Because you guys really love my Mickey Mouse video, I thought it'd be fun if I showed you how to make Minnie Mouse. So Mickey Mouse has got a friend, so let's get started. For this you'll need some polyester fibre fill, stuffing kind of thing. Um, you're also going to need some felt in peach, white, black and red. You're also going to need some blusher and a little like applying thing. This is optional. Um, some acrylic paints, I'm going to be using black today and white. You're also going to need some general sewing supplies like needles, glue, scissors, thread, pins and kind of that sort of thing. Uh, you're also going to need a circle template and you can make this yourself by just drawing a circle. And you're also going to need some paint brushes and I have quite a few. You only need a couple of different ones but yeah, let's get started. Out of white felt, cut two of your circles and then out of peach felt, cut the other two circles. Like this. This is how they should look. And then you're going to want to sew the two same coloured ones together and sew all the way around. You can either sew this by machine or use a back stitch. This is how they should look. As you can see I've sewn all the way around to make a full circle. Next, pinch out your circle and just make a tiny little snip making sure you don't cut the other side and this is so we can turn it inside out and don't worry about that little hole because it will be covered when the macaroon is put together so I'm just turning mine inside out now and this is going to be the right way around and it's going to have a lot neater finish on the edges um, so just turn it inside out it's quite fiddly and make sure you don't stretch the hole so do it quite slowly because you don't want to hurt, like, <laughs> you don't want to, like, stretch that hole anymore because it'd be harder to cover up. And that's what it should look like when done. Repeat this with your other circle. That's what they should look like, and they should be roughly the same size. Next, you're going to want to lightly stuff them. Don't stuff them too much because macaroons aren't that stuffed. This is what they should look like. They should have quite a nice little dome shape to them. Next, you're just going to want to do a simple little ladder stitch and do this loosely so it just covers and sort of blocks the stuffing from coming out so it's like a little barrier. Do not pull it tight because you don't want to deform the shape of your macaroon circle. And as you can see here, I'm just sewing it really lightly and I'm barely pulling on it so it'll just kind of look like a little ladder going across the hole which will just prevent all that stuffing from falling out and keep its nice shape for longer. So you can see you're just gently sewing that along, so just follow that. And a ladder stitch is really easy, it's just a running stitch each side. So this is what they'll both look like afterwards. Now you're going to want to get a strip of red felt, fold this in half. You can use any other colour if you want, this is for the filling. So fold it in half, pin it together. You don't have to pin it, I prefer to because it gets a neat sort of finish to it and is more precise. So just keep folding and I put three pins in it, one at the middle and two at the sides. And sorry my dog keeps barking if you can hear it in the background. Um, so just carry on pinning it like I am. I'm pinning very slowly today. <laughs> so keep pinning and make sure you've pinned all the way through both the fabric sides like if you get what I mean. So now you've pinned it, there we go, that's what it should look like, a nice thin strip. And now you're going to want to do a running stitch all the way along it, doesn't matter what colour thread. And now what you do, keeping the needle in, you're going to take out the pins and then if you take the end where you've just finished sewing and pull this tight, as I'm showing you now, you pull it nice and tight and you can see it creates a little ruffled effect. I think this looks so cute in a macaroon. And just measure it against the size of your macaroon pieces and once you're happy, sew it along there. And that's what it'll look like. And it doesn't matter about thread because you won't see it once it's done. 
so that's what it looks like with my pieces it fits perfectly so just adjust the size until it does you can also trim a bit if you need be so next up black belt and white felt we're going to cut out two pieces we're going to be cutting out the ears and the feet two of each you need to cut so there they both are and you're going to also want to cut out a little sort of ovial circle and a thin strip of red and fold this like I'm showing you now back on itself because this will create your cute little bow shape for Minnie Mouse's um, head and um, so that's what that'll look like and then you're going to want to glue that together you can either use fabric glue or a hot glue gun I prefer hot glue because it dries instantly and then if you attach a little red bit it makes it look neater and more finished off and just attach that at the back as well with glue so that's what your bow will look like once it's all attached and now you're going to want to glue your ears and feet to your front piece which is the sort of peachy skin tone kind of colour so just position them as you can see I'm using the hot glue gun and just push them down and make sure they're nice and stuck like so and that's what it'll look like when they're all attached next you're going to want to glue around a circle and place on your filling and push that down till stuck then glue another ring around there and what you're going to want to do is put on your front piece and also push this down until it is stuck on nicely so that's what it will look like when you've stuck all your pieces together and now we are ready to paint but before we paint so we don't make any mistakes we're going to use a sharpie just lightly sketch out the face as you can see I've done there and now go ahead and paint um, so you can do the bow and use a thin little brush and white acrylic paint to do little polka dots on it that's what it'll look like when it's done so cute <laughs> you can also use felt for this as you, if you prefer and now I'm going to use black acrylic paint and a small brush for the details and a big brush for the rest of the head and that's what it'll look like when it's done make sure you give her a tail as well and little eyelashes and now final bit is to stick the bow onto Minnie Mouse's head so just do a dot of glue and stick it on there just like so and there you go you now have your own little Minnie Mouse and it's so cute and this is the additional step if you wish you can give her a little bit of blush on her cheeks by using either a blusher like I am doing or an eyeshadow and just take a tiny little bit and just pat it onto her cheek and sort of rub it around in a circle motion as you can see lightly patting and rubbing and it gives her a nice little blush to her cheeks which just looks a lot cuter for a little girl one like the actual plush has oh so there we go she's all finished and she looks adorable and now we have our finished Minnie Mouse um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and now you have a friend for Mickey Mouse so there they both are and they look so cute together and um, whoever you'd like to see next comment down below hi guys I hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching um, please comment rate subscribe Add me on Instagram and add me on DeviantArt. Bye!